Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to use custom CSS to add a second line of text to a project title in your Squarespace website. We'll be adding a second line of text and changing the font style, and as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'd love to show you how to install this in Squarespace and how to customize it to make it uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I have a portfolio with multiple projects. I have this set up to a grid portfolio where we'll see the text before a hover. Now to customize this with code, we'll navigate to Website, select Website Tools, and Custom CSS. The code I'm about to share with you is listed in the description below, but I'll walk you through how it works. You'll see immediately that we get a second line of text here. What we've said is after the portfolio title, I want you to give it a little bit of space and I want you to add a second line of text. Make that text uppercase and change the font size. Now this is definitely a design choice on my part. You can customize this any way you want. Maybe make the font even larger than the other font. You can also remove the uppercase line so it matches what you've typed, super customizable. But this part is very important. Where it says white space pre and then content, we said backwards slash capital A, that's what creates the second line. So you'll definitely wanna leave that part of the code. This can be customized to say anything you want it to say. Now you might be looking at this thinking, that's great, Becca, but I need a different second line for all of my projects. And we can absolutely do that with custom CSS. Again, you'll find all of these codes underneath the video. I'll just add a new line and paste this new set of code right here. And now we have a different text for each one of the first three projects. Now here's one of the coolest parts about a cascading style sheet. Up here at the very top, I can go back to saying text, transform, uppercase, except I'll spell transform correctly. There we go. We change this back down to two REM, so it's not as glaring. But what I want you to notice is that we have the word anything still here in the very first part of our code. In this next line of code, we said, okay, after the first grid item title, I wanted to say first line. After the second grid item title, it says second line. After the third, it says third line. And anything after that, it's gonna get this very first part of code that we created. That's part of the cascading aspect of this cascading style sheet. It'll apply this to everything unless we tell it to do otherwise. Now let's say you have four, five, or six projects inside this portfolio. Just repeat this last item here, add a new line of text, and change this value. This is going to change the fourth project, and let's go ahead and change this to example so you can see the text change live on my website, and there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and select save. We've made all the changes we need to make and I'll hop into edit mode because I'd love to show you something super important. If I change edit section and I actually want this to show after the hover, we're still going to get the same lines for each project, but this only works for grid items. If we select edit section and we choose one of the hover options, this code won't work. It has to specifically be the grid overlay or the grid simple. Now, if we choose grid simple, notice that the font size is actually changed by default, but again, we'll get those multiple lines for each one of those projects. And this code is specific for grid, either simple or grid overlay, whatever setting you'd like. I'll go ahead and select save. And again, this entire code is listed in the description below. One last thing I wanna mention before we call it done is that here at the very top in this very first part of the code, you can get really creative with the fonts here. You can change the font family if you want, like let's say font family serif, and we'll take a look at that. There we go. And let's go ahead and change the color to purple. And now it's a purple second line. We can get super duper customizable here. We can even give it a unique border. Let's say border top, 1px, solid, red. And now there's a line between the project title and the second line of text. Let's give it a little bit of space too. We'll say padding top, 0.5 REM. And now we have that line halfway between the project title and the second line of text we added. As you can see here, we can get really creative with this code. And because we applied that to the very first instance of us adding this text after the title, that's going to apply to every single project. Pretty awesome, right? After you've made all the changes you wanna make, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes from this tutorial and links to additional resources to help you make Squarespace uniquely yours. And if this is your very first time customizing your site with code, I have so much more to teach you. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn to check out my free class on the basics of CSS for Squarespace. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. 
Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.